We cover weather and traffic every 10 minutes on CBS 2 News this morning. We're talking about kind of like out, going out skiing and snowboarding. Yeah. You went out uh, this weekend. We're talking about season passes. Like, where is there an area in the West that's being hit with snow right Super now? Super hard. Uh, yeah. We're going to get some snow up in the Sierras. Uh, quite okay. a bit of snow in California with some of the moisture that's going to be moving in again. Okay. So, there are some areas that are going to get some snow. We uh, we need some. Yeah. And we're going to get some as well. Okay, a little good. Bit, but, uh, yeah, it's not going to be a huge. Two, well, right, because I kind of feel like if you're going, if you're looking to go anywhere out west and ski right now, where do you? I mean, where do you right, go? You Seems go? like Tahoe, Jackson. Right, perhaps? Yeah, I know Utah's had some yeah. great snow recently, okay. so they've had a lot there. Uh, Western Wyoming always yeah. seems to get hit yeah. hard. Jackson's hard. Yeah, Jackson's been getting hit hard. Jackson I've been keeping my eyes snow. on that one. Yeah, and Colorado seems to always have quite a bit yeah. of good snow as well. So, okay. all right, uh, yeah, there's great snow here as well. You know, mm -hmm. you mentioned you went out. I know that uh, Brundage and Tamarack kind of get the sweet spot as far as some decent snow amount uh, amounts out there. As far as actual snowpack levels, we are kind of uh, shy as far as not uh, seeing a lot of snow out there. Boise Basin only at 68% of normal, 72% of normal for the Payette Basin. Uh, the Southern Mountain areas, Oahe and Bruno Basins are at the uh, in the 90th percentile as well. Uh, we do need some more snow. We are going to see some here in the next couple of days, so that's good news. Quiet start, otherwise uh, overlooking much of the Treasure Valley. This is from St. Alphonsus in Nampa. We are going to see, again, some moisture move up from the southwest. So where it's coming from the southwest, it's going to be more of that mild flow again. We had this pattern uh, earlier last week where we tend to see just rain here in the valley, but snow in the mountains. So uh, about a 20% chance of seeing some activity tomorrow and Wednesday. More significant threat on Thursday and Friday as a large trough or large low pressure system will move through the region uh, before we see a little bit of a break again over the weekend. So generally temperatures have been chilly, uh, especially or declining, I guess I should say, as we've had an inversion settle in here in much of the valley. So should be right near normal today with highs about 37, a little bit warmer tomorrow, more noticeable on Wednesday. That's as we continue our southwest flow, getting up to 48 as a storm system. The brunt of it moves through on Thursday uh, with temperatures right in the mid 40s on Friday. So so what we have is we have this area of high pressure over the Pacific Northwest. So that's keeping again the storms to the north of us or to the south of us for now. But with activity brewing to the south of us, that will help uh, push out the ridge of high pressure. We'll see more increased clouds as well as some moisture come up tomorrow late morning and early afternoon. Another wave of moisture moving through on Wednesday, bringing a chance of some snow, if not some rain showers to the region uh, as temperatures start to gradually warm. And then there's that low pressure system that's going to bring up quite a bit more moisture, widespread precipitation on Thursday. Again, with temperatures being quite a bit warmer, just rain in the valley, snow staying in the mountains, of course mainly above 5,000 feet by Thursday, if not a rain snow mix in some of the mountain valleys, and then some lingering moisture into Friday before things kind of quiet down for the weekend. So looking at snowfall just for the next 48 hours, so carrying us into Wednesday evening um, near Thursday morning. Again, some areas expected to see a uh, dusting of snow, if not a tenth of an inch or so in some of the uh, Treasure Valley, an inch or so in some of the mountain valleys through Wednesday evening, and then the bulk of the precipitation will likely move in on Thursday. So these amounts should go up quite a bit, I think, in the mountain areas, of course, with that storm system on Thursday. But for now, in the next 48 hours, we're going to see a couple of inches uh, in the higher elevations. Uh, maybe a dusting, if not a tenth of an inch of snow uh, throughout the next 48 hours here in the Treasure Valley as well. Mount, or the extended forecast for our area, partly cloudy, 37 today, 39 tomorrow with that slight chance of snow, if not a rain-snow mix. Rain and snow likely Wednesday, rain likely on Thursday with a few lingering rain showers for Friday. Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures hanging on in the mid-40s. Mountains, of course, colder. We're 28 today, 31 tomorrow. Should see quite a bit of sunshine out there today. It's going to be a gorgeous one. Uh, snow showers likely Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Break Saturday before a chance of more snow arriving on Sunday. Notice temperatures getting up to 36 on Thursday, so could see a little bit of a rain-snow mix. Uh, all in all, uh, we're to be tracking any of the changes of the forecast. He's on at 4 and 5.30 on CBS 2 News. All right, we were wondering where that snow was going to be. Uh, Turns out it's going to be uh, It's going to come here. Right here. Yeah. State. All right, appreciate it. Thank you, Nate. 6.20 this morning. Let's uh, head outside, check out our